looking at the sump pump or the sump bucket for the shower and the galley sink on this boat. You can see this ugly hose is the air conditioner condensate drain into this black bucket. That rectangular piece in the middle of the bucket is the float sensor. And then that PVC pipe in the back is the bilge pump pickup. So I'm going to turn on the sink and run the sink water into this sump pump and we'll listen to see if the pump actually lifts the water out of the hole. We're working on this boat in the boat yard, getting it ready to go cruising. We've got the domestic water supply pumping. You might hear the water pump. I'll go back where the water pump is in a little bit. You can see it filling the sink. And you can see the water coming in here. And you might hear the pump in the back. So it's sucking air a little bit. Let me run back to the engine room. I'll show you what this pump is in the engine room on this boat. This is a Formula 40 pocket cruiser with twin Volvo IPS pod drive systems. The water pump is still pumping water into the sink. And there went my flashlight. And one of these pumps should come back on. The lower pump or the upper pump as soon as that sump fills full of water. While we're waiting on the sump to fill and the pump to come back on again, this battery is the generator starting battery. There's the Westerbeek generator. There's the built-in firefighting system. Okay, you can hear the pump. And it's the bottom one. I can feel it. Not the top one. It is the bottom one. Can you see the air bubbles going through here? So they're going through there, up and out, through this big fitting right here, and then overboard. As long as I'm here, I'd like to show the macerator, which is the sewage overboard pump when you're more than three miles out in the ocean. And also take a look at the water heater. And you can see these two hoses at the bottom. These come off of the engine. So these are full of hot antifreeze at 180 degrees Fahrenheit. One goes in, one comes out. And then the water inside the water heater is heated by the antifreeze off of this starboard engine. And let me crawl back up here on the front again. And you can see the valves. One valve with the green stripe hose, the other valve with the green stripe hose. So that's where the antifreeze comes off the front of the engine, goes all the way back to the water heater over there, heats the water to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And, grunt, grunt. I didn't get to turn off the water yet, so the sump pump is coming on again, pumping the water out of the sump. If you want to learn more about domestic water systems aboard your boat, ask Captain Chris.